We've done two tier wedding cakes and we've done fancy cakes that Kevin think look like a wedding cake even though they're only one, one tier. Wow, we just started. <laughs> Well, we've never done a celebration cake, and because it's Pride Month, happy Pride, everybody. I wanted to do um, a rainbow cake and make something really fun and cool and celebratory. I've got a lot of hopes and dreams for this cake. As always, we're starting with our $20 sheet cakes, and I'm taking off all the icing and get it ready to make it into something very different. Why I started doing videos like this, I thought it was more of like a fun challenge, but you guys have turned it into like a hack where this is an easy way to like not bake a cake and not make icing and everything. And honestly, I'm feeling it because <laughs> these kinds of videos are a lot less prep for me. I just get to come in and start the fun decorating process. Archie's also not okay with us filming today because he's decided to grab his toy and run around and be whining all morning. Uh, so the last hour we've spent trying to convince him that it's film day and not play day. But I don't think he's getting the memo. I'm gonna try to make it really tall to look very grand. I wanna cut out circles out of the center of the cake. Then I can fill said hole with sprinkles and candies. As always, I got some extra white icing for like 10 bucks. So I wanted to make sure that this icing didn't have any sprinkles, any crumbs or any other color in it because I wanna dye it every color of the rainbow. I wanna do this like, this pattern with icing. And I think it's gonna look really cool when you cut it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. I'm good. One time I messed up the order of the rainbow and people chewed me out for it. It was my bad, I wasn't even thinking. I was just kind of like colors. So now I rogue above all the time to make sure I've got the colors in order and that I don't mess it up. So this is a lot of color for like this tiny little space. I hadn't really thought that part through because I've done this kind of pattern before but not on such a small surface. Essentially, I need to fit in six colors on this tiny little ring. And then when you cut it open, you'll see little rainbow. Red's not really, not really getting much room here. Oh. <laughs> it did it. It's just some of these corners of red might get dropped off a little bit. Oh God, red. I'm so sorry. It's fine, it's fine. And I want to do so much with this cake, so I'm trying my hardest. That looks very wonky. <laughs> These always look like a mess <laughs> until the crumb coat is on. I feel like these cakes always look like a cut and paste like craft project. I'm just gonna like stick this chunk, this chunk back on. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What? What'd you do? It's not a big deal. It's just I wanted to pour the candy in before I put this last layer of icing because now the candy can stick to the icing when I try to pour it into the cake. It's okay. Everything's okay. Don't worry, Kevin. We're making a cake hat. I got this cake layer, but I couldn't. I need a hole, so I cut out a hole, and then now I'm gonna put that on top, and then I'm gonna put this on as a little hat after I fill it. This is not my proudest moment. I feel like my mind is not working today and I'm just like <laughs> messing everything up. I'm sticky. I need to clean up the table and then get ready for sprinkles. I went to the store, I got a bunch of different colors of these like chocolate covered pearls, but they were sold out of like everything. I wanted to get a bunch of different like textured sprinkles, like some Jimmy's and stuff too. And I just couldn't find them there. Apparently pandemic, everyone is sold out of sprinkles and things. Anyways, I'm mixing these all together to create like a really cool sprinkle blend. I think I made the perfect amount. It's like the perfect amount to fill it. Little hat goes right on top. And the sad part is the more I look at this cake, the more I realize how wonky the layers are and the more I feel like I might need to carve it a little bit. I don't wanna lose that layer of the rainbow, but I need to carve a smidgen away just enough to create a straight line for the icing. Now my plan for this cake is to ice it in black because I feel like the color of the rainbow is just gonna pop out so hard underneath the black, but I wanna crumb coat it in white so that way the black isn't bleeding into my rainbow that's gonna be on the side of the cake. Although the more I look at this cake, the more I feel like that strategy might just bite me in the butt considering all of that red is now being part of the crumb coat and I'm basically creating a pink crumb coat and red and black tends to bleed into colors the worst. But we're just gonna pretend that that's not happening right now and that this is a very white looking cake. <laughs> I feel like people like these this that videos just to watch me go through everything and everything go wrong in them. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. 
every time. <laughs> I have a plan. This is what we're gonna do. An hour later, everything has gone to crap. <laughs> All of a sudden, it doesn't look like a hot mess anymore. Does this still look a hot mess? No, it looks a lot better. Okay. Before I get into the next step, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It is no secret that I'm a big fan of Skillshare, and that is not just because I have my own cookie decorating class on there. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of ad-free classes for all of us creatives out there, and they're constantly adding new premium classes. Whatever creative interest soothes your soul, Skillshare likely has a class on it. But if you're not sure what your creative outlet is but need some joy in your life, Try exploring a new skill. I am just a diehard creative at heart and really have dabbled in nearly everything on the creative spectrum. One of the things you guys probably didn't know is my love for photography. I've been diving into Instagram worthy photography with Brandon Wolfell, who I've been photo crushing on for so long. I love that Brandon's class dives into camera gear and setting, but also gives insight to posing and shooting in different lighting. The first thousand people to click the link down in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Now that I have all of the surprises inside and that joy and fun like sealed inside the cake, I wanna create the rainbow on the outside of the cake that's gonna be showing through the fault line. My thought is to just go around and pipe two lines of each color and then I can kind of smooth it out and pipe around it with black icing. I feel like it's gonna be an easy technique. I don't know why I'm saying that because now I feel like I'm jinxing myself. I wanted to do a cake like this for so long because I love rainbows and with it being Pride Month, I thought this was the perfect month because I am a strong believer in love is love and I wanted to do a really fun rainbow cake to help celebrate that. I don't want them to be over blended, but like lightly blended and I can't take off too much icing. So I've got to be careful here. Did you catch that elbow technique? You saw it. I was so proud. Cause when you stop, you get those like harsh stop lines. I was like, oh no, 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 no. I'm coming to the end cause I was spinning it. And I was at this point with my arm and I was just like, carry on. My arms are super tiny. On the outside of the cake for the fault line, instead of doing white, I thought it would look so sharp with like high contrast to do black with the rainbow. And also on the new rainbow pride flag, I think there's black and brown for inclusivity and diversity, but you guys like correct me if I'm wrong. It's just hard to get black icing. Like, I don't know if you guys have done black icing. Like I've got super gel food coloring, so it's more concentrated, but dyeing white icing is so hard. So I, always start with chocolate if I can when I'm dying black because then you have to add a lot less food coloring and you're a lot less likely to have everyone's teeth dyed black when they take a bite but there's gonna be a lot of black icing on here so there's that they'll be worth it because it's gonna look really cool I think I tried to like dip low and dip up so it had this, you know, th this wave pattern going on. I tried to add enough black icing that I could come across and smooth it all out at once. Oh, I'm in love. So as I was putting on the black icing, Kevin said something. You said that you felt like the rainbow in this bright color and like joy and happiness was basically breaking free of this dark kind of crusted cake that's like holding it down. I just thought that was really beautiful. I feel like that's so fitting. Meanwhile, I just want to make a fault line cake. You've got all this like deep meaning behind it. <laughs> I'm in love. I feel like it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Pride Month, everyone. I love all of you so much. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first thousand people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity.